What I always wanted to be was to be a writer. Not a playwright, not a poet, not a novelist, but a writer. To write a, a six-line poem is as joyful to me as it is to write an 80-page script or a three or 400-page novel. So it's about, it's about the process. I started writing in the 60s. At some point years ago, I said that I was, what I was trying to do was give voice to African-American males. Because then, that was one of, it seems to me, one of the voices that was least heard in the world. Next piece is uh, from a play called Riffs. And this passage just deals with the phrase, the Detroit way. The phrase, the, De the Detroit way, came from uh, a jazz musician Beans Bowles, who uh, I worked with when I was creating the play Coda for the Attic Theater. And Beans talked about the way jazz musicians in Detroit nurtured young jazz musicians. They nurtured them both in terms of music and in terms of the kind of life skills they needed in order to make it in the world. I met this kid in the joint. He didn't know. Nothing, Spoon. Nothing. Did he even know that? What? That he didn't know nothing? No. Not even a clue. Had never been taught nothing. In for armed robbery. I'm surprised he even knew which end of the gun to point. I don't mean ignorant, but unschooled. I started listening to jazz when I was about 13. And so that was a thing that fueled the rhythms in my writing. Again, because I always wanted to write rhythmically. I mean, it goes back to when I was a kid, and uh, my family would be together at Christmas, and I would just listen to them tell stories to each other. I could hear music and the kind of interchanges between them. It was like somebody would solo for a while, and the others would kind of feed into that, you know, and encouraging them. And then at some point, I said, well, maybe I can but put this narrative to, together so that people will feel the way I felt in those moments. Nobody ever took time to teach him. He didn't even know to brush his damn teeth every day. I knew if I didn't show him something, the simplest thing, then when he got out, he'd be back inside, inside a month. Inside or dead, so you showed it. Just how to get the sound out of the horn. And once you showed him. And he knew that he didn't know. But showed him gentle enough so he wasn't ashamed of not knowing. And didn't have to be afraid of wanting to know. <laughs> the Detroit way, yeah. Like we used to do it. He could learn. If he wanted to, you would teach him. The Detroit way.